Hello everyone, welcome back to Space Engineers. Today we're going to be looking at two different systems that I feel like are extremely necessary for your drilling rigs or static drilling platforms. And those are a cargo uh, system overflow protection and a status indicator. And we're going to do both of them today. Uh, so to kind of help facilitate that, I have a little sample drilling rig set up here. We got some drills, we got some pistons, and it already comes with a little itty bitty cargo container. Now, if I was to run this as is, what was going to happen is the drills are going to fill up our little car cargo container and they're going to keep going and going and going. Eventually, the drills themselves are going to get filled with uh, cargo and that's not necessarily a good thing. So to help alleviate that, we're going to start off with a system that will shut off our drilling rig when our cargo system gets too full, allowing our system to kind of catch up and kind of do what it needs to do to clear um, the cargo before the system restarts. Now, to do this, it's as simple as needing just a few things. We're going to first need two, at least for this part, two event controllers. We're going to need some cargo containers and some conveyors and a sorter. So, well, or sorters. And how we are going to do this is I'm going to actually place a couple. We're going to sit here and hey, let's just do one. I'm going to put a cargo container right here. And then what we are going to do is we're going to set up some conveyors and sorters pull from this cargo container into this cargo container. So just give me one quick sec and we'll uh, we'll get that taken care of. And we're back. So we have, uh, as you can see here, I took some cargo uh, conveyors and I have about a series of about five sorters. Now, the number of sorters doesn't but does really matter. You can run this off one sorter if you're limited on like a server with how many sorters that you can run, I, you could do this with one. But the more sorters you have, the faster it's going to clear our cargo input container. And it's going to uh, make the system run faster and smoother. Um, but really, you, you just need as many sorters as you need. So that's kind of my bit of advice on this. But ideally... They're all going to feed into another cargo container or your refineries or whatever you want them to run into. It doesn't have to be a cargo container. I'm just using a cargo container for this uh, example. Now, before I get started on our settings for the event controller, we're going to pop into here. And what I need to do, and I already did ahead, is I'm going to group all of my drills and my pistons into one block group. I called it drilling rig. I'm not that creative right now. Um, and then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and find our small cargo container. And we're just going to rename that as our ore input. And with that is... Nope, I feel like that is what we need for that. We'll come back to our settings here in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over to our event controller over here. And it's going to be very repetitive for almost all of these event controllers. Their event, is, with the exception of my last two in the uh, indicator system uh, are all going to be cargo filled percentage. So every single one of these cargo filled percentage, unless I mention otherwise, and a lot of good chunk of them, our condition is going to be equal or greater than except for the one over here and the one I'm not going to use cargo filled percentage. Now, What's going to change is the threshold for a lot of these. Um, so for this one, we're going to just rename this one event controller. We're just going to do input. 
and we're going to keep cargo filled equal greater than threshold. We're going to set this at a nice, healthy 75%. And then what we are going to target is our ore input as our selected block. And for our selected actions, we want to go to our group, our drilling rig group. We want it to turn the drilling rig off. That's it. Simple as that. We'll go to our next one. Same thing, uh, except the only difference is uh, we are going to change the condition on this one to equal or less than. I'm going to set our threshold. We're actually, we're going to keep our threshold at 0% because we want our little cargo container um, to be completely empty. And for this one, we're going to select our actions, groups, drilling rig. It's going to turn it back on. And that's it for those two. Now, mechanically, everything else is going to run. There is one more thing we are going to need to do before we start our system. And that is to do, 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 turn on all of our sorters or not turn them on, but click go down. Uh, once we've selected them all, we're going to hit drain all. We're not going to we're not going to set up any filters while you can. For this purpose, we're not. And so that part of the system is done. Our cargo overflow system, completely done. You can run it as it is right now. And as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just do a little, oh, little test run right here. I'm gonna sit here, fill up. I will do need to reverse these pistons. We'll set them at uh, 0.25. And like it should, like, there we go, right then and there. We'll go real quick here. Go to our pistons. Go to our pistons. We're just going to reverse it. And it's just going to sit here and just slowly eat away at the ice till it's completed. Now, with that, let's go ahead and build an indicator system for our for our drilling rig. For this, we are going to need, I have six event controllers here, and I'm going to need six light panels of some kind, or lights. We're going to use our light panels for this one. And the idea for this one is as our cargo containers get filled, we're going to fill up 25, 50, 75%. And when this guy is on, completely full. And the indicator on the right is when our system is on, this one's going to be lit. And when the system is off, this one's going to be lit. Super simple. Uh... We're going to rename a few of these blocks, though. We're going to light panel. Uh, we're going to do 25%. We'll do this one. 50%. This one is going to be 75%. And our last one is going to be full. And then over here, we're going to rename this one on. And off. Now, let's go ahead and I'm not going to do uh, all of these are pretty much going to be the same. Let's go over here and let's work on our system on and off. So we're going to go over to our event controller over here. We're going to do this one as our on. And for our event on this one, what we want is block on or off switched. And for this one, we're going to just pick a random block. I like to target our pistons for this one. So we're going to hit pistons. 
and what we want for our selected action is we're gonna fight our find our on panel when the blocks are on we want to turn on our block and when our blocks are off we want to turn off our block as simple as that uh, we'll go ahead and pop over to here we'll set this one a nice a nice blue we'll set our radius down and our intensity up in fact for all of these we're going to select them and we want our radius down and our intensity up all right so that one is done we'll check piston on off all right, and then we're going to go to our opposite one, which is going to be our off indicator. And we're going to select for this one, same thing, block on or off switched. Select actions. Now, this one's going to be the tricky one. Well, not really tricky. We need to have it do the opposite. So when the system is on, we want this light to be off. And when the system is off, we want our light to be on. And we're going to target the same piston for this one. All right. And for this one, we'll do a nice little... Well, let's do a nice little uh, da -da -da orange if we can do it. There we go. Now that will, that is the indicator lights. Now time for all four of these. And for all four of these, the system is, we're gonna keep it <clears throat> all pretty much the same. Cargo filled percentage is going to be our event. Trigger, always gonna be equal or greater than. Threshold, we are moving in increments of 25%. And we are going to target our large cargo container. If we have multiple large cargo containers, we want to select all of them. And then if you have more than one, we're going to hit this AND gate. This way it's checking the status of all of the cargo containers. And then when they all are over 25%, then it will sit here and it will then sit here and uh, turn off the uh, turn on the indicator. So, but since we only have the one, we don't need the AND gate. And for our actions, it's going to be the same for all of them, just different lights, light panel. Uh, twenty-five percent for this one. When it's over twenty-five, we want to turn it on. When it's under 25, we want to turn the block off. And we're going to do the same thing for all of these, just changing the percentage and our target light. So you give me one quick sec, I'll do that, and then we will uh, come back here. All right, and we're back. So I have set all of these up. So in theory, when this block hit, yeah, what, 24.6%, when this container gets to 25%, this light's going to turn on. 50%, this light's going to turn on. 75 this light's going to turn on. And this light, this one's going to turn on. Well, 100%, our, our red light's going to turn on. And at the same time, we have our indicator lights. This nice little uh, orange color one indicates that our system is currently off. And blue indicates the system is on. So now without any further uh, talking let's go ahead and get the system started and kind of run our tests so we're going to turn it on we're going to reverse our pistons here and blue lights on means systems running and green light we're at 25 percent and yellow lights on so our system should have paused As you can see, it's 
slowly but surely working its way through yep we'll turn it back on turn it back off now there are things that we can do to make this system a little bit more efficient we could be using bigger cargo containers uh for our our input but this kind of really serves just kind of like the idea of like how it's supposed to work. Um, how you actually build it is entirely up to you. Do you want to use bigger cargo containers? Do you want to make more cargo containers be your input? That's all on your design and your needs. I'm just showing you how I have implemented two different systems to kind of help my mining rigs be more efficient by not wasting material when I'm, you know, trying to drill through ores that I'm already full on. It's no reason to sit here and uh, be uh, mining through, you know, ores or stone when your system can't handle it. Plus it causes so much more issues down the line with trying to build things and you have no cargo room left over to put it. So I'm hoping you found something in this video that you actually, well, not actually enjoy. That sounds like a terrible thing. I'm hoping you found some of this information useful. Uh, I do notice that we are at 75%. I am pretty sure we are. Yep. So I'm going to sit here, hop over here and I'm just going to, dump the rest of my cargo in and bam all the lights are on so i go back into here and i pulled everything out all of the lights are off so as you can see system works i hope you uh find use this information useful and if you're using your game go ahead and let me know if you think i could do better or improve it somehow please let me know in the comments down below if you liked, don't hesitate, uh, the video, don't hesitate to hit that like button. If you want more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. And like always, I'm new to this, so if you have any constructive criticism, please let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, have a great rest of your night.